Sumatra Island is the only place in the world where tigers, rhinos, elephants and orangutans live together. But all of these species are highly threatened by extinction. As their forests disappear, these flagship species are having an increasingly difficult time surviving. Today, the remaining forests of Sumatra are confined to the least accessible areas like Bukit Tigapulu, which means 30 hills. Bukit Tigapulu is the kind of landscape that gave Indonesia the nickname Emerald of the Equator, with its lush tropical rainforests, rolling hills and amazing wildlife. Bukit Tigapulu is one of the rare areas on the island today where Sumatran tigers, elephants and orangutans survive together. It is one of the last large blocks of forest left on the island. Only around 400 Sumatran tigers are estimated to remain today, 30 of which are believed to live in Bukit Tigapulu. In fact, there may be more tigers in this area than previously thought. World Wildlife Fund today released camera trap photos that recorded an astounding 12 tigers in just two months, including two mothers with cubs. A motion-triggered video camera captured footage of three young tiger siblings playfully chasing a leaf. Surviving tiger triplets like this are very rare. The tigers appear to have been forced together into this small remaining natural forest area when the surrounding forests were cleared by individuals who illegally clear the forest to plant oil palm and by two companies who produce pulp and paper for the global market. The Sinar Mass Group's Asia Pulp and Paper, headquartered in Shanghai, and the Royal Golden Eagle Group's April, headquartered in Singapore. You may have seen their names in your local stores. Even the forest where the 12 tigers were found is under imminent threat. The forest may soon be cleared by the Barito Pacific Group to supply wood to local paper mills. The paper made from these trees will be sold around the world. Other parts of the forest are also under threat of clearance by individuals who illegally clear the forest to plant crops like oil palm. APP's logging road and public roads enable them to get into these areas. Their crops will go to local mills who will sell the palm oil around the world. Many NGOs including WWF have been working to protect the Bukit Tigapulu landscape for a long time. Unfortunately, the Bukit Tigapulu National Park only protects the steepest slopes of the area, while elephants, tigers and orangutan seem to prefer the more gentle slopes outside the park. These are now threatened by new clearance for pulp and paper production and more illegal encroachment. The orangutans here are the victims of the illegal pet trade who have been rehabilitated and released into the wild. They have settled in 30 hills and are thriving, even breeding. If these forests go, these survivors will once again be on the brink of disaster. Two indigenous tribes live in Bukit Tigapulu. They are also losing their way of life, with some being forced to live in pulpwood plantations. Others were forced to settle down and clear their ancient forests to farm. The people and wildlife of Bukit Tigapulu need our help before it's too late. 